Hi, this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org here with SiliconANGLE TV's live continuous coverage from Dell Storage Forum 2012 here in Boston, Massachusetts. Joining me for this segment are two gentlemen from VMware, Felipe Payette and Tracy Waller. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thank you, So the, the Cube is where we find, uh, we go to the, the biggest tech events around, find the smartest people we can, try to separate the signal from the noise, and explain some of the biggest challenges and opportunities going on in technology today. And, and absolutely, this is a storage show and looking a lot at infrastructure, and you know, I, I don't think anyone would argue that virtualization and VMware have had a huge impact on what's gone on for you know, more than the last decade. So, Philippe, if we could start with you, t tell us a little bit about uh, you know, what, what's your role at VMware and what are you doing with Dell this week? Sure, sounds good, thanks Stu. First of all, thanks for having us. Uh, we're excited to be here at the event as a petabyte sponsor and, uh, and uh, you know, showcasing our long-standing partnership between Dell and VMware that's going on a decade now. Um, and one of the things that we are actually proudest of is the tight technical integration between the two companies. What I, one of the things that I had spent most of my time on is working on that joint solution development activity between the two companies. And without getting into the weeds too much, that means working with Dell and our engineering teams to make sure that we take advantage of APIs and integration opportunities to develop both the best performance and the best manageability of virtualization on Dell infrastructure. And a lot of that's being shown off here at the event today. Great, Felipe, definitely want to dig into that in this segment. I, I think back when I started working with VMware in 2002, sure, all the server guys worked closely with VMware. It was almost kind of like, okay, this is the next generation operating system, hypervisor, throw it on bare metal and go with it, but there are deep engineering relationships and I'm sure you're close on that. Yeah. So, so Tracy, uh, th th when, when we look at the relationship with Dell and, and VMware, um, you know, can you talk about you know, where we are, with the, since you're on the sales side, you know, where we are with Dell, um, you know, I kind of always hear the jockeying people talk about, you know, IBM says we're number one, and HP says we're number one, <laughs> and Dell says we're number one, and I know VMware loves all of its OEMs <laughs> and, and partners equally, but uh, you know, give us a little bit from the sales side and, well, and, the, and your role. Well, from the, well, from the sales side, I mean, Dell, by volume is the number one reseller of VMware both in the Americas and, and globally. Okay. Um, my role is to actually engage with the Dell sales uh, sales engine in the Americas. So I've got a team of people that uh, we work with the uh, different Dell segments from SMB through you know, par public large enterprise to make sure that that selling engagement works uh, smoothly and flawlessly, that they know how to you know, represent the uh, solutions that we built together you know, to the customer and how to best represent the, uh, you know, the pain points and the value proposition that uh, that, the, that joint solution uh, can offer the customer base. So, so, so Tracy, how, how many people are we talking on each side that are part of this uh, uh, solution? Uh, the engagement, I should say. In the Americas alone, we have upwards of about 65 people that are dedicated uh, dedicated to the Dell VMware partnership. About um, half of those are VMware badge, and the other half are licensing specialists and technical specialists that uh, that carry a Dell badge, but they are 100% dedicated to the uh, to the partnership in, in the Americas. And then globally, there's you know that you know it probably almost doubles you know globally. Okay. Great, because you know you have real bodies, real people driving those solutions. Absolutely. And, and and helping to sell that 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 drive. So, Absolutely. Felipe, we, we've heard a lot of announcements this week uh, from Dell, and you know we're kind of in the middle of the uh, you know the summer uh, show season here. Uh, looking forward to at the end of August VMworld, where kind of the whole ecosystem comes together. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what, what's new from a joint development and, and solution standpoint with Dell and, and VMware? So, one of the things that we spent a lot of time talking about most recently is um, how. Uh, by enabling integration between the two you know, technologies, we deliver to our joint customers a single pane of glass management interface, not just for their physical infrastructure, but for their, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, not just for their VMs, but the, for their physical infrastructure, and that means not just Dell servers, but also Ecologic and compelling storage. So we get the question asked uh, a lot um, regarding why customers should come to Dell to buy their virtualization infrastructure. And the very simple answer to that, consistent with what uh, folks have been hearing from Brad Anderson and from Darren Thomas in their keynotes this week, is that we deliver a better together story. So when, when you say single plane of gl glass, you're talking about vCenter, correct? I am, I'm talking about vCenter and the ability to manage your VMs as well as your Dell servers, your Equalogic storage and your compelling storage from that single pane of glass uh, interface for customers that are 
virtualizing on VMware. Yeah, no, right? it, it, yeah. great point, and we we absolutely see VMware and your your competitor Microsoft trying to pull in a lot of the management. It's interesting. Yeah. We had Darren on this morning, and we talked specifically about ma management, which is a hot topic for him. And he actually said that a single pane of glass is really unrealistic. Uh -huh. It's about APIs and policies. Mm -hmm. So you know, I don't think we're necessarily at odds with what the discussion is here, because obviously, you know, Darren and his team and, and all the products are looking to work very closely with vCenter. Sure. Uh, but you know, a total single pane of glass that I can do every everything at, you know, we're not there yet, but it, it's it, the APIs and the policies and working together between the two companies that's yeah. getting us towards that kind of holy grail. Exactly, and for again, for customers that are virtualizing on VMware, which, you know, Tracy can talk to the installed base that we have through Dell, which is massive, um, we are delivering that single pane of glass management interface, and we are expanding on it with things like our vCenter operations management product, which has been out since vSphere 5.0 that was announced last year, which by the way, all of this, all the whole suite is being refreshed uh, in the near future, that delivers uh, sub substantially enhanced manageability and predictive analytics and really, really powerful uh, capabilities. And again, based on the fact that there are plugins for Dell infrastructure into vCenter, which are not just sort of link and launch plugins that, that'll take you to a different interface, but really allow you to manage from within vCenter, it's a pretty powerful value prop. But we're not trying to boil the ocean here, right? We're not saying that vCenter is the single pane of glass management interface that's going to manage everything, including uh, you know, uh, VMs from other hypervisors. Great, now yeah. we're all looking forward for, I believe 5.1 is what the rumored uh, version is, and you know, we expect sometime between now and VMworld, I'm sure you can't confirm or deny, but uh, go in there. So, Tracy, sounds like, do you have some data points for us as to, uh, you know, we talked about how many people we have, you know, wh what's, how many, what's the install base? You know, what's, what's the growth pattern? Uh, I'd seen a trend a couple of years ago that the, the big OEM seemed to be a smaller percentage of VMware vSphere. You know, wh where are we today? Well, I mean, Dell's still growing. I mean, they still represent a very, you know, significant acquisition engine, especially in the SMB space for VMware. Um, you know, they've captured hundreds of thousands of customers, you know, over the course of time. And, you know, the strategy that we've now set up with Dell over the, over the past year is really go from just data center, uh, you know, the data center uh, consolidation to more of a cloud strategy. And Dell invested, you know, a billion dollars in their services organization just around cloud. We're fortunately, you know, a big part of that. And now we can go in and talk to that install base and talk to the customer about a hybrid cloud solution. We can talk about capacity as, as opposed to just server and storage, you know, and, and, the, and the product feature function of that plus VMware, we can talk about compute capacity on how to attack the business critical applications and then optimize that customer's workloads in, in, on their on-premise data center or move it into Dell's data center on the, on, in their, uh, their vCloud branded uh, environment that they've built out. Great, so if I, if I think back to really the vision that VMware's been putting forth mm -hmm. for the last two years, it, it's the three layers of the stack and infrastructure is kind of the foundational piece. Yes. Um, I, I love Paul it says we want to kind of forget about infrastructure and make it invisible, and Steve Harrod comes back and said, well, we want to make it really easy so that you know, it yes. kind of works together. Uh, what about the other two layers of the stack? So really the end user computing and uh, kind of the next generation applications. Uh, Felipe, I think you, you have some comments as to Dell's engagement on those? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, I'll start at the top of the cake. On the end user computing side, uh, and actually given that we are at a storage event, we'll pull in the storage layer as well. We have uh, done a lot of work with Dell to develop Dell's desktop virtualization solutions, their DVS offerings, which deliver view for virtualization um, uh, based on Dell infrastructure. And we've got you know, Dell pre-configured offerings or Dell sort of factory validated offerings that, that will give users um, the ultimate in manageability, in user density, and in user experience um, uh, for horizontal uh, use cases, just so desktop virtualization in, in general, but we've gotten a step beyond that and work closely with Dell's healthcare segment, their federal segment, and we're working with other areas to develop vertical specific offerings. So just one example of that is Dell has uh, something called the mobile clinical computing um, offering, which is a healthcare specific follow me desktop uh, solution based on VMware in view that delivers clinicians the ability to access their desktop from anywhere instantaneously with a single sign-on capability that saves them minutes uh, over the course of a day or possibly even hours over the course of you know, a, a working week uh, and gives them instant access to 
patient information um, uh, in, in a location aware format that, you know, based on where they are uh, in a hospital, um, they can quickly get to the information they need. So that's just one example of one of the solutions that, that we've uh, developed jointly. Um, when it comes to the application space, Tracy mentioned that in the app space, we're also, you know, working with Dell on things like mission critical application virtualization. Um, and, uh, you know, beyond that, there's uh, also opportunities that we're in the process of developing with Dell to go after sort of the developer space. Uh, you know, there are three million plus developers who use the Spring framework, and you know, you saw last year that we had the Spring Source acquisition. Lots of opportunities there to work together with Dell, and that you know, there's sort of you know things in the in yeah, the works no, there. Yeah, no, absolutely. So we, we yeah. actually covered the Node Summit earlier this uh -huh. year. Joint, okay. a good Dell partner. VMware was also there. We got to talk to some of your folks. Yeah. Uh, so you know, Tracy, at the at the field level, you know. How much of the relationship is based on kind of the infrastructure, and you know how much is their training, education, or you know actual delivery on on the other two pieces? Well, of the, the stack. bread and butter is the infrastructure. I mean, and, and to Steve Harris point, making it easy. I think that's what Dell and VMware have been doing is making that infrastructure layer easy. Uh, as we actually move out and start talking uh, to the uh, the Dell sales team today and to their technical teams, it's we're putting a lot of emphasis on the management stack, on the uh, business continuity, backup recovery, all the things that you need all the solutions that you need to have in place so that you can go capture those mission critical workloads, right? To help, to really get to the pain point that the customer, you know, why is the customer buying all this technology? They're buying it to run applications. And we ultimately need to have Dell be able, you know, have the Dell sales engine and the technical force be able to ha have that conversation, a more, you know, a deeper conversation at that level than worrying about, you know, the the bits and bytes of, of the infrastructure layer. And and it's been uh, a very, they've been very receptive to that message, and I think they're doing a great job carrying it forward. And we're starting to see, you know, a definite, you know, uptick in sales around the operations layer, the operations management uh, layer, around our our view our view or desktop layer, and around site recovery manager and some of the other solutions that we have in, in the security space. So, uh, public cloud's a little bit of one of those jump balls out there. Uh, right. I, I did a tour of the Switch SuperNAP in, in Las Vegas last week, uh -huh. and you know, I saw you know EMC there, I saw Dell there, uh, and I saw VMware public cloud there. So, uh, how do you guys balance kind of working with a partner and uh, kind of driving some of the new applications and solution spaces where VMware's been doing some acquisitions like you know the Slide Rocket to the world and uh, you know uh, was it the social uh, social cast social cast and everything yeah. yeah. So on the public cloud side, actually, I'm glad you're bringing this up because this is one of the things that we've been most excited about since VMworld last year when the Dell public cloud service was announced. Yeah. So Dell, amongst our strategic partners, is unique in that Dell and VMware together really today can offer the full hybrid cloud portfolio from on-premise, cloud building blocks like Dell's vStart offerings, which are factory pre-configured building blocks for on-premise cloud, right, to custom configurations with Dell services that'll come in and stand up your on-premise uh, desktop, uh, I'm sorry, enterprise virtualization solutions, to the Dell cloud service with VMware vCloud Data Center. Um, so customers can now buy their on-prem infrastructure from Dell, and they can burst out their workloads using our vCloud connector technology to the Dell public cloud. Um, so you mentioned how we wave, you know, working with uh, our different partners. We're actually very excited about the fact that Dell is un in a unique position today to be able to offer customers the full VMware-based private cloud as well as the public cloud service and be able to move workloads back and forth from one to the other. So. Tracy, you, you, I'm assuming you're talking to the end user, the customers, and you know, in the field quite a bit. Uh, is there any kind of, you know, you know, early cases that you think are kind of for not not foreboding is the wrong word, but kind of the early indicators as to some of the some of the transformations that are going on in this space. Yeah, I mean, from the cloud standpoint, yes, we're already seeing Dell take customers that were initially. Um, Hold on one moment. Let's keep going. Um, we saw customers they've gone in where they've captured the uh, you know the, the traditional you know data center on prem, and these customers now look how do we move test dev you know I don't need that workload capacity you know in my own data center how can I more efficiently use Dell's data center and they're already moving those test dev applications over to the data center. Uh, we're seeing more and more uh, you know disaster recovery conversations going on between uh, Dell and the customer around how do they use that that public cloud for that type of function. Uh, you know, the, the security piece seems to be a question that all customers have. Dell's come back with their SecureWorks offering to show how they can actually secure that public environment you know, or, 
or the Dell, you know, the Dell Cloud, you know, in a um, in a much better fashion. The competition out there, and I think customers are starting to adapt. It. They've had a, over the course of the past six months, they've had a pretty big uptick in uh, customers moving into their uh, into their public cloud yeah, offering. Yeah, you know, it, it reminds me so much of the journey we saw on just server virtualization, starting in the test yes. dev, rolling out to what percentage of virtualization, getting some Absolutely. of those key use cases and key verticals, and and we're seeing the same thing right. th thing on cloud. Everybody's going to everybody wants to you know test it out and make sure that it's you know it's going to work on something that if it doesn't work, no one loses their job over it. I think we'll see that same evolution process. Yeah. So so one of the other big things we've been talking at the storage show here is Flash, and uh, you know Dell showing off their their project Hermes um, virtualization. You know has a kind of a unique interaction with Flash. Uh, Fusion IO made their IO Turbine acquisition. Uh, Felipe, is there anything you can share as to you know what what you're seeing partnering with the storage guys uh, on on Flash interaction? Probably a little bit early to tell. Yeah. Um, you know, there's definitely uh, things that we're discussing uh, at the engineering level, um, and some pretty exciting things that are going to be coming up uh, over the course of the rest of this year. But I think a little early to, to talk about anything specific. But you're absolutely right. That's another area where sort of you know uh, using flash-based technologies for caching and for improving performance uh, of the storage tier is a pretty exciting area. Yeah. Okay, great. So uh, Felipe and Tracy, thank you so much for joining us here uh, on theCUBE. We look forward to upcoming announcements from VMware. Uh, definitely look to see more from the Dell VMware partnership at VMworld at the end of August. And uh, this is Stu Miniman with wikibon.org. Uh, we'll be right back after this break.